this is an LC80. But what's so special about it? Well, this is a 1.9 dirt grabber from RC four wheel drive. So obviously you guess it, it's a small scale. It's basically a 1 18th Hobby Plus. So I got this cute little truck from Banggood. And honestly, it's quite impressive. But look how I got the package. I'm actually surprised it survived. That aside, let's have a look. You got the remote. It's kind of small. Probably, like, I have small hands, so it's probably one of the only remotes that I can actually steer and drive at the same time. But uh, have a look at this. Batteries actually go in here. Which is kind of cool. So it comes with a USB charger. I charge mine with an old cell phone charger. Uh, this is an old Samsung one. It's about uh, 1.5 amps, I think, which doesn't really work with the new phone. So, comes with a little key tool and a screwdriver, which I can't seem to find right now. Uh, other than that, you got the manual. It's pretty straightforward. There's a nice blown-up view. Uh, spare parts. Uh, you can order the other bodies. Uh, there's three different bodies for it, as well as different tires and that. The tires that are on it are pretty good, actually. Uh, but uh, this is the kicker. Check this out. I'm going to open it up. Let's see what's inside. So, if you get the battery, to 7.4, 600 milliamps. Very tiny little battery. This is probably not very expensive to replace or to get extras for that matter. The uh, controller and ESC are in one piece. And the motor is right here. You see it right there. And it looks a lot like an SEX10 setup. And honestly, the whole thing looks like a miniaturized SEX10. Not as small as the uh, SEX24, uh, but this isn't a 118 scale, so it's a little bit bigger. Uh, it's a little bit of bump steer, which isn't too bad when you're driving it. Uh, all in all, it drives quite well. I was quite impressed, and the servo seems quite strong enough for it. The only one thing I really didn't like about it was the power. Uh, it has enough power. That's not a problem. It's the way it delivers the power. When you're pulling the trigger and you're trying to crawl over something and you're trying to get it to go over, and it's like it won't move, it won't move, and then all of a sudden it moves really quickly. Uh, let's see if I can demonstrate. Here, there we go. Turn on the radio. Turn on the truck. Okay, it's got lights, front and back. All right. So, as you can see, I'm going to pull the trigger. Go slowly. See what I mean? So it goes forward at a decent speed. Let's see. Let's just do a show to you like this. See, that's not bad. When you're trying to torque or you, when you need a bit of power, watch. I'm going to go very slowly on the trigger as you can hear it. 
see? It goes a little bit, and then it goes a lot. So it's kind of odd that way. And usually that's something that happens when you have a motor that doesn't have enough torque. See? Okay. That being said, it's still a hell of a lot of fun to play with. So you get four links, four link system, four link system. Although it has a four link system, it's still a chassis mounted servo, which is why there is some bump steer. It's not a big deal. It's really not that bad. It's still drivable. And as you'll see in the videos, it's got a really low center of gravity. It's very hard to roll over or flip. So it's quite pleasant to drive. I'm usually not a big fan of small scale like this, but this one is actually amusing. Two last things I want to talk about. One is it also has a third channel. I don't know if you can actually see that. You got a third channel button right here. And I'm not sure exactly where to connect it. There is a wire that's not connected to anything that comes out of the combo unit I'm guessing is the third channel. The other thing I wanted to check is the side hill. So if I take the wheels and push it sideways this way just to give you an idea of how far you can actually take it. Check it out. That's pretty high. And there it goes. So I'm not sure how many degrees that would be but that's quite a bit. So if you were looking for something small to play around on your desk, in the house, or I guess in a more compact area, uh, this definitely would be a good choice. It drives well. It uh, has got some very good traction on these tires. It's based, uh, as far as design goes, it's based on the SEX-10, which is a very winning uh, setup. So you can't really go wrong with it. It's got a very low CG uh, even with the spare tire in the back which is an actual tire that you can change to the other ones and the rim as well so that's pretty cool so that's about it so if you're interested just go get yourself one at Banggood see ya